the Northern Wrestling Federation. fans this is Roger Ruff and head trainer right here at Bone Crushers and it is time for our annual NWF fantasy camps it's coming up this Saturday May the 17th and wrestling fans it's gonna be your opportunity to get into the wrestling ring and train with the NWF superstars this year we're gonna have two separate camps never heard of before in the NWF if you are 18 years or older you're going to get a chance to train with the NWF superstars from 11 a.m. this Saturday until 3 p.m. in the afternoon. It's only $50 to train. It's going to be great. It's going to be a crash one-day course in the world of professional wrestling. You're going to get in. You're going to be able to body slam someone, and you're probably going to end up getting body slammed too. But what a great day of action here in the NWF. And then for you younger wrestling fans, 17 and under, we're going to do a special training camp for you on the same day. It's going to be from 4 o'clock in the afternoon until 6 o'clock. And it's only going to be $25 for you kids 17 and under. All you got to do is make sure you bring a parent or guardian with you to sign you up. And you're going to have a fun-filled day. We're going to be in the ring. We're going to have you jumping off the ropes. We're going to have you hitting the ropes. We're going to have you doing drop kicks and all kinds of fun stuff. It's the fantasy camp. This Saturday, 18 and over, from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. in the afternoon, $50. You're going to train right in the ring with all of the NWF superstars. And then once again, for you wrestling fans that are 17 and under, special camp for you, same day this Saturday, from 4 till 6 o'clock. And it's only $25. You're going to get right in the ring 
With the NWF superstars, and we got a spe some special surprises for you on that day also. Make sure you get here for Fantasy Camp. This is NWF Recap and with Big Mama and my co-host, Big Rig. Uh, uh. And we are coming live from the BK Lounge. Opens up at 6 o'clock every Bone Crusher show. Come on down and enjoy classic NWF wrestling. Carl Anderson, what... What's more classic than that? We had our NWF debut at Oak Hills High School last Friday night, and we saw Jay Donaldson retain the NWF title against Angel. And at the end of that match with the special guest referee, Stamp Lickage, he had the nerve, Jay did, to look at him and say, you're lucky that you're not reinstated as an NWF wrestler. As a surprise, assistant CEO, Nate Pelly came out and reinstated stamp leakage, and at the end of the night, he entered himself into that rumble. Not only did he enter himself, what else happened? He eliminated the NWF champ Jay Donaldson to win the classic and now retired NWF championship. And that championship will now rest at stamp leakage's house. Next up, we had a hot night of action at Bone Crushers, and first we saw Jordan Lachey making his mark on the NWF. He's still undefeated in the NWF. I'm not sure anybody's going to be able to stop this kid. You know what? He's got a lot of potential. You better check out what he's got in the weeks to come. Also, we saw the story between Nicholas and Miguel Sanchez continue. We may very well see the rise of the Titan it, right it, now. He's definitely proven himself as the Titan and that he's a fighting champion here in the NWF. He retained that title after he used the mask to take out Miguel. And you'll also see a rematch next week at Bone Crushers with Nicholas and Miguel. Last, we also saw the story behind Outlaw Matt Stevens, Roger Ruffin, and Angel continue as Angel learned a reshot at the match against Jay for the NWF Heavyweight title tonight. As a result of the actions at Oak Hills, Angel got another rematch here tonight but things didn't go quite as planned again when the outlaw Matt Stevens got involved and not only left Angel Land, but he also left Roger Ruffin Land. At the end of the night, the only two men standing tall in the ring were Jay Donaldson and the outlaw Matt Stevens. Make sure you check out to see what's going to happen in the next coming weeks. And now, off to interviews with the NWF superstars. Miguel <laughs> Sanchez, I really hope your mother was able to see you in the hospital for Mother's Day, I really do. Your madre could see her little mijo after what I did to you at Bone Crushers. After I snapped your leg. And now you get a rematch, Miguel. You get a rematch for the unified title. And the NWF thinks they can take the mask away from the Titan. But you can't take the Titan out of Nicholas. So Miguel, unified title will be on the line. But Miguel, you have to worry about walking out of Bone Crushers. That is if you can even walk in. Because you can have your rematch and they can take my mask. But when I leave Bone Crushers, Miguel, I will be the unified champion. And you will finally bow your head and count your blessings. <laughs> NWF Army, you're looking at the outlaw of the Northern Wrestling Federation, the man that single-handedly stripped the army of the heavyweight belt. Angel, you think I'm running from you? You think I'm avoiding you? You couldn't be any more wrong, Angel. I can't wait until me and you get in the ring together. But you see, somebody else, some old man, wants to try to watch your back. Some old man wants to get in my way. That's all right, because the outlaw will do what the outlaw has started. And I'm gonna take the old dogs out behind the woodshed. And I'm gonna put them out for good. So Roger Ruffin, get in my way. And I'll see to it that you don't ever walk around in the NWF again. So Angel, you and Raj, the outlaw's here and the outlaw Ain't going nowhere. What a day that's going to 
going to be NWF Fantasy Camp. Oh, and on that night, the event returns right here to Bone Crushers, and on that night, the self-proclaimed titan of the revolution, Nicholas, will step into the ring one more time with Miguel Sanchez. And there's a special stipulation on that match. Because of what happened this week, when Nicholas took that big, heavy steel mask of his and slammed it to the already injured knee of Miguel Sanchez, the match, the mask, excuse me, is going to be banned from ringside. Before the match begins, the mask has got to go. So it is a fair and square contest. It's going to be fantastic. I hope to see you there. Now let's go to NWF Highlights.